Some breaking new details just into the Queen City newsroom. We just learned two jurors had been picked for Donald Trump's hush money trial, replacing two who were ousted earlier today. This says concerns grow about the safety, privacy and intimidation of jurors in the historic first criminal trial of a former American president. The two dismissed jurors expressed concerns about their identities leaking out when they were supposed to remain anonymous. Henry Rossoff was in the courthouse for it all today. It was immediately clear from the moment former President Donald Trump and everyone else walked into the courtroom something was not right. Justice Juan Merchan announced that a juror had called with a problem. She was brought in and questioned, saying, quote, I definitely have concerns now, talking about her privacy. Yesterday alone, I had friends, colleagues, and family push things to my phone, questioning my identity as a juror. I don't believe at this point I can be fair and unbiased. Merchan dismissed her, but was not happy, ordering the media to be more careful and not share the physical identity or employment information of jurors, saying, quote, we just lost what probably would have been a very good juror. She said she was afraid and intimidated by the press. But then the Manhattan District Attorney's Office announced there was a problem with another juror whose wife may have once been prosecuted by the DA's office, and the juror himself was caught possibly once ripping down political posters of right-leaning candidates. He, too, was dismissed. Former President Trump sat stone-faced, occasionally speaking to his attorneys, as the number of jurors seated fell from seven down to five. He was equally non-reactive as prosecutors told Justice Merchan they believed he had violated his gag order seven more times, most notably by sharing a post on Truth Social quoting Fox News host Jesse Waters. They are catching undercover liberal activists lying to the judge in order to get on the Trump jury. The former president was scolded just this past Tuesday by Justice Merchan for, quote, intimidating a potential juror who was being questioned. And Merchan will decide the issue of holding Mr. Trump in contempt next Tuesday. Then the court went about the business of trying to vet another batch of jurors, the majority of which immediately asked to be dismissed because they could not be impartial. Uh, by some sleight of hand, I had been put on that jury or accepted for the jury that eventually, um, my paintings and my posts on Instagram and Facebook would come to light and that that would be weaponized by the defense. And what type of paintings and posts on Instagram are you referring to? Uh, the many that I've done satirizing Trump. Total number of jurors is now back at seven, the same number that it was at the start of the day. Eleven more jurors still need to be picked. All right, so let's go ahead and bring in it. Queen City News Chief Legal Analyst Khalif Rhodes. And Khalif, you were saying that once a juror is chosen, it is very rare for them to just be excused. I mean, the process to get there is extremely hard, right? You got to go through all those questionnaires. You got to go through questions from the attorneys. And then you get to actually be sworn in. Extremely rare. But we started off this trial. The judge said it was important to protect the integrity of the identity and not let that out of any of the jurors. So the, the attorneys couldn't keep the names. They had to destroy them at the end of the day. They couldn't have pictures. It was a lot to protect these people's identity. But this juror felt like, listen, I'm getting text messages. People were saying, hey, I think that's you. Is it you? She felt like her life was in danger, and so the judge removed her. And the judge went on to say, today, we lost a very good juror because of this, because you guys overstepped, because you did more than you were supposed to do, because the media, he blamed, was being overzealous in their approach to try to get more info on this case. Now we lost someone that could have been an excellent juror on this, this trial. And the big clue was uh, em uh, uh, employment status and even where they were employed. Yeah, I mean, those questions were in the questionnaire, so the judge ruled that that would be taken out of the questionnaire. Questions 3A and 3B, where you work, who you work for, will be removed. But also, something the judge did today that I thought was limiting, he said that the press cannot even report on those types of things, on descriptions. And I think he may have overstepped in that situation. Well, I think Judge Merchant's done an excellent job moving this case along. I think that he may have overstepped in terms of what the Constitution allows. The freedom of press is something that we have a very, very big protection on, specifically your First Amendment right. If you're in court and you're watching it happen, you have an obligation to report on it. For you to limit that, I don't know if the law supports that. Well, I, this case gets more and more interesting. Do you think that this one juror being excused will maybe have an impact on other jurors who've already been seated who they might say, maybe I should rethink this and maybe I can't be uh, unbiased. On day this. one when we came back, folks raised their hand and said, look, I, I originally said I could do it. Now I think I can't. I think once you've been seated, 
you're not coming out of that box because you, you've made it through that process. But I do think it will play a part into other folks that are brought in the room, the other batch of 96. When they come in, they're saying, do I really want to be here? Okay, well, so what do you think happens next with all this? Because we still don't, now we're down a juror, right? So we had seven and now we have six again. Right, normally you're like, okay, we went from seven to eight. You don't go backwards. Mm -hmm. And so what I anticipate is the judge will tighten the reins within the room and attempt to tighten where he can legally the reins on the media. But ensuring that you have a good quality jury, I still think it gets done this week, which before I didn't see it happening, but they're moving light and fast. This week, not two weeks. like No, I think planned. it gets done this week because they're at seven. They don't need that many more as long as they continue with this pace, they'll be done. All right, so we it's Thursday. We have uh, today and uh, all of Friday, so we will see. Kali, thank you.